What's up guys, Grim here. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit during this video. I'm not really going to play any game footage or anything like that because a lot of stuff has been going on and I haven't really got too much good footage, so uh, nothing special. I haven't made any guide videos this week, so yeah, this is going to be just me talking to you guys. Hope you don't mind. But, alright, what all's going on? We had, uh, if you watch my first real life video, you know that I have some rental properties that uh, is some of my income. So, uh, just a couple days ago, one of my rental properties is at the bottom of a hill, okay? And this guy was coming down the hill in his truck and lost control of his brakes and smack right into my property. And, uh, there was somebody sleeping, renting the place from me and sleeping right where the truck hit as well. And it threw the guy off of the bed into the floor and he just popped right back up and wondered what happened. Uh, I guess nobody really got hurt at all. Uh, there was a couple people in the place and the guy absolutely did not have any brakes and hit it full on, but yet nobody got hurt. I guess uh, the extent of the damage was the driver's ego and I've been dealing with insurance companies and trying to find a new place for the people that were renting from me because the place was absolutely destroyed after that truck hit it. So yeah I've been dealing with that lately and uh, that's been kind of taking up some time to say the least. But. Uh, some other things that's going on, of course you know that the PvP tournament is coming up just on May the 10th at 6.30 server time and I will be live streaming it and uh, commentating it. So if you wonder where a uh, link to the live stream is, it's in the description below this video. So just go down there and you can see the live stream and once I go to live stream the event, that will be the link that you want to watch it at. It'll be on May the 10th at 6.30. And I've talked a little bit about it already, so I won't stay on it too much. Uh, but to add to that a little bit, uh, the new PvP, well, the new souls for uh, uh, all the classes is coming out this upcoming Wednesday. At the time of this video, it's this upcoming Wednesday. So uh, the Liberator, the Physician, and all those are going to be live and we're kind of curious if anybody's going to use those souls in the PvP tournament. And uh, it sounds like the the tournament organizers are wanting me to uh, test out the souls some before the event happens so that I can know what I'm talking about a little bit. Of course I won't know them too well but I will try to learn them a little bit so I can talk a little bit about it if somebody uses one of those souls in the tournament so um, what else oh yeah the big news for me of course you uh, I've already talked about the PvP tournament and everything you you guys know what's going on with that so the other big news that I have is uh, my second channel I'm going to uh, talk a little bit more about that because uh, some people have asked me what all is going to be on there really it the initial idea was to just throw a lot of different games on there and just have a lot of let's plays and funny moments and stuff like that but uh, I think it's going to be focused a little bit around a certain game and that game is going to be Day Z. If you've never watched uh, gameplay of that game it is pretty cool and I'll give you a little bit of backstory about it. Uh, there's a game called Arma and there's, uh, I know it started out with Arma 2 and I think there's Arma 3 out right now. And it's basically like a shooter type of game, a first person shooter type. Uh, it's not, I don't believe it's deathmatch style, like, you know, too much. But uh, they released a mod for that game. And it basically made that game into almost The Walking Dead. Where there's, it's a post zombie apocalypse uh, type of game and everybody's running around scavenging for food for weapons and if you see somebody you don't know uh, if they're hostile or friendly because you get a lot of players that just want to kill each other 
and this is not the game that uh, that is actually kind of encouraged I guess it, it's it's kind of they give you the resources to do so much in the game that they don't really expect you to really just mindlessly run around trying to shoot each other it's survival I mean you're you're getting you scavenge through all these buildings and stuff looking for food and everything they're wanting you to try to live and uh, I guess the random bandit players and stuff that just kill on site is going to be one uh, well is one of the issues there so you have to try to survive those too and uh, it's almost it's pretty much just like The Walking Dead it like if you watch the show you know every time they see somebody new they're drawing their weapons and they don't they don't know if these guys are going to are they going to try to help each other or are these guys going to try to kill them just so that they can take everything that they've gotten so far you know if if you're uh, camped out at a house and got a got a a little bit of crops growing and maybe a couple farm animals or something you know you've got a lot to lose and if somebody stumbles upon you you know they're they might put a bullet in your head just so that they can have everything you just had and that's how this game is you know you always got to wonder is the player there to kill you or are they there to uh, try to survive with you and I've already had lots of cool moments in the game and I will provide a link to some of the gameplay uh, there's lots of big uh, day Z channels on YouTube and yeah it's gonna be really cool but um, I'll go ahead and expand a little more. Uh, the the mate Arma had the mods on it and everything like that that made the game into DayZ. Well, it became so popular that uh, the makers of Arma said, "Okay, look, you guys are all buying Arma just for this one mod. We'll go ahead and make a game of DayZ itself. Just you know, you don't have to buy armor, you don't have to uh, get the mods and everything. You just buy the standalone game now. So they are currently making this game, and it's an alpha right now. Uh, so it doesn't have the extent of uh, the mods on Arma because people have been working on those mods for a long time, and Arma is. Uh, a little more of a polished game already so people are really making a lot of craftables in the mod and they're uh, like building forts and you know uh, boarding up houses to make as uh, barracks against the zombies and other players and stuff like that and people are really taking it to a whole new level that is super awesome well the standalone game is only an alpha so it doesn't have all of that stuff that's going on with the mods and it's kind of basic right now but it's still really fun and a lot of chaotic stuff is going on and you can tell it's going to be a lot more refined than the Arma game is you know the DayZ mod of it uh, but it's still in the early stages and it's an alpha but you can buy it right now from Steam and probably in other areas too but Steam is where I got it and yeah you're buying the alpha version of it and getting to take part in the post zombie apocalypse game as it's being made and that's what the, my second channel is mainly going to be made around I think because so much chaotic stuff can happen from that oh I forgot to mention the most important thing about this game is that you guys can chat with each other as in it is not a chat box in the corner kind of thing it's whenever you see somebody you can queue up your mic and say hey stay right there or you know I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot you or whatever and they can hear you and it's it's really crazy what all can happen once you start adding voice communication to uh, this kind of stuff because you know you can do hostage situations I mean if I run up with a gun pointed at you and you don't have a gun you might have a baseball bat is all you found so far and I run up and I've got a gun pointing at you and I say stop right there you know get down on the ground you know you're going to get down on the ground or you're probably going to take a bullet and yeah it's that type of game you have to make those choices and uh, the communication with the voice stuff is just so important it makes it so cool and so many things can go wrong or right uh, 
Yeah. Wait till you guys see it. I'll post a video of a very long Daisy gameplay, and you guys, uh, it, you'll you'll see kind of what I'm a talk, what I'm talking about right off the bat. And if you keep watching the videos uh, from these other guys, you'll you'll see what I'm going to be shooting for. But there will still be other games as well. So yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and sorry no real Rift gameplay or guides today, but so much stuff has been coming up. Alright, be sure to hit the thumbs, uh, thumbs up button, the like button, and it always helps. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys, I guess, on Tuesday. Alright, take care.